Okay, so hi. So, of course, I have not recorded anything uh, since June. Oh, I haven't uploaded anything since June of last year, I believe. Um, I went on a huge hiatus. Um, a lot of stuff happened this year. Uh, and on January this year, I attempted suicide again, and I almost succeeded. And I woke up in the ER. I woke up in the ER. My hands and feet were black. Um, I had to stay at the mental hospital for a long time. And then I was home, and I haven't really been stable ever since. I mean, even then, like I have, I I'm sure people can tell, but. Um, it's real easy for me to look like I'm all okay when I'm not. I'm, I've never been. I did get better. I got my medicines changed around. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I've been taking the medicines. I've been, there's a lot of stuff I talked to with the therapist that was really difficult. I actually wrote two new songs and I released them a couple days ago on my other channel. Because I have a music channel, yeah. And I mean, I don't have an expensive mic. This this is my mic. This is my most expensive mic I've had. It's and it's um, I'm sure for professionals they probably can tell, but yeah. But also um, what else did I need to say? I I also had stopped recording and I hid almost all my videos. I put them all almost all on private because it was something. My it's the voices in my head. They told me that I had admitted to something that wasn't true and the thing that I admitted to was something that they told me um, was actually um, the voices had been telling me something the thing is the thing that it is I don't want to um, I just don't want to say I'm not the type of person to hide parts of myself so I'm, that's not what I'm doing I just don't want to that's all I just no, I just don't want to. Like, I'm not, like, scared. There is a little bit of a fear. There's a little bit of an anxiety, if I were to say it, but it's not. But I'm sure anyone can put two to two together. And I was, I thought that I was just this, uh, initially, I thought I was just this big old monster. So I was like, you know what, fine. Like, everything's bad anyways. I might as well just tell people. And so I think in one of my videos, one of my old videos, I mentioned it. And that's what scared me. So I wanted to hide all my videos and I was screening all my videos I can find it. Never did get through all of them and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put it back on I'm gonna put it back on public. Like, you know, there's even if even if I was the perfect even if I was super perfect, people would hate pe there are people that would hate on me because I was perfect. So, yeah. Like this saying that I said, people could see people could see you walk on water and hate on you and say it's cause you can't swim, basically. Yes, they'll do, they'll do anything. Yeah, so any it, anything that I would get, it's fine. And because of the way I've been treated um, by society most of this life, I'm used to getting, I'm used to getting attacked. Anyways, I don't like it, but I'm used to it. But that had that didn't happen though. I'm okay. <laughs> but anyways, I think I got off on a tangent. But yes, my uh, my schizophrenia, it was a. Uh, either upgraded or downgraded, I don't know which one it is, to schizoaffective disorder, depressive type. Yeah, so it's basically schizophrenia. It's basically symptoms of schizophrenia and depression put together. There's also um, bipolar, um, bipolar type, which is the mania. I thought that, you know, I thought that the mania, I thought mania was 
I thought like the bi bipolar was like depression and mania back and forth or something. A manic depression, I think that's what it's called. But yes, but I also I have anxiety, I knew that. I have PTSD really bad. I knew that. Um I don't know. I'm just I, I don't know, I'm just a nervous wreck. I'm so I'm so scared to my um my drug the thing that I usually use the thing that I would use to try to hurt myself um, anytime that I had access to it during the time I wanted to hurt myself was actually diphenhydramine which is Benadryl for anybody that lives anybody of course any US listeners it's Benadryl here but um, I don't know if Benadryl exists outside of the United States I don't know so diphenhydramine if I'm even saying that correctly but I took, uh, I think I took 54 pills because that's all I could find. And before I had taken pills before, but I thought, I thought a little bit of a smaller amount would do it. But this time I just went, I just went all in. I took that. I took some other pills too. I just, I took like a cocktail. And mm, by the time my dad came to pick me up, like it was, I couldn't even walk. He was like, let's get in a chair. I remember being in the chair and then I blinked and we were outside getting in the car. Then I blinked and we were on the freeway. And then I blinked again and I was projectile vomiting all in the front seat. Then I blinked and they were saying, my, d my dad was saying, you know, come on, let's get in the wheelchair, like to go into the ER. And then I got in the wheelchair. I remember being wheeled. I blinked and I remember being wheeled. And then I don't remember anything else. And then I woke up and I was laying on my back in the ER, like in the, the psych area. Um, no purse, nothing, of course. Took They took everything. They do that to... So for your safety, um, I just, I just, um, I don't know. And I just woke up and I was like, initially I was upset. I, I was mostly just nothing mattered. I was like, I was like, it's, I have nothing else. And the reason why I can tell you the reason why. Um, it might sound silly to some of you guys, but just before I say the reason, oh, I'll say the reason and then I'll explain it. Um, I, anybody knows, I'm, anybody who knows me from, um, anywhere else, I'm an avid Inuyasha fan. I've been since, like, its existence, almost, almost. And, um, uh, in any other profile that I have online, I have a picture, a blue, it's a, Inuyasha and Kagome picture and it's a blue background with a big old moon with Inuyasha silhouette in it I don't have that on this channel because then it would be the same as that one So I wanted to make it different. I used my PlayStation icon. I don't know if that's legal I haven't gotten in trouble for that yet, but yeah, I might have to change that eventually. I don't want to but I think I might have to change that but <clears throat> Anyways, um the Spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen who doesn't know, but Inuyasha has a spin-off series called Yashihime, and um, there's Moroha, Setsuna, and Toru. Tora, 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 to Toru, Toru, <laughs> I don't remember. But anyways, it turns out that the twins are actually Lord Tashomu and Rin's daughters. Yeah, so even saying it kind of hurts, because it hurts for one. It was just weird for me because, yes, I am someone, I believe that the anime world exists, I, that, you know, all of, they're all not in the same universe, they're all different universes parallel to ours. That's what I believe. Yes, it could possibly, the skits, it could be the schizophrenia, but I don't, I don't believe that at all. That's just, I bring it up, I always say, you know, oh, the schizophrenia, just, you know, again, it doesn't matter. I, I'd rather be myself than hide it out of fear. It hurts way more to hide myself. So, but I do it so that they don't, that way they can at least understand, okay, just leave, leave her alone. That's what she feels. But I truly believe that. And so I believed at one point I was going to marry Lord Tashomaru. I had adopted Rin as my daughter. So what I was saying was my ex and my daughter, uh, my daughter having having babies with her uh her father stepfather but i don't like the word stepfather you know so it it messed me up but also you know my whole life i've had nothing but i've had all these injustice in how do you say that in english i've had all these injustice things done to me how do you st <laughs> Unfair, un, unfair, 
I've had a lot of unfair things happen to me. Uh, uh, like, it's always, they just get their way in the end. Like, they would hurt me, and I either had to be quiet, or I would tell, and then I'd get outcast, because either how dare you tell on them you should just keep your mouth shut or oh my god no you're lying because there's no way that would happen and just like they always won and since the beginning of Inuyasha like um I stayed away I like to try to stay away from negativity online like period but there were a few times when um I would see it there it was just the Seshrin shippers which on it I me I support all ships. I don't care if if there's a ship that's taboo to somebody. Like, uh, it, like you, you're gonna be upset. You're you're gonna be upset if you try to, um, if you try to shame me to get me to not spread my love for it because, um, it's not gonna work. My ship. If I love a ship, I love a ship. Nine times out of ten, it's an incest ship. Yep. Like, especially if they're twins, especially if they're twins, uh, we got Elversus, we got Ren and Yukio, we got, <laughs> I do have Royette also, but, um, and then I, I love, um, they call it Edwin, Ed, Ed and Winry, whenever it's, I don't like the word canon, I don't like it, cause people beat that into you so hard, like they don't know how to just leave you alone, but, uh, and here I am. I normally don't have hard opinions. I normally don't have the it's coming out sounding harsh But I don't mean it like that just as a reminder. I don't mean it like that at all, but um They They um It like you're not so with the session, you know, some people were like, oh my god, you know, Ren but I'm like me as far as I, I don't care who like, you know what if uh, you know, just you're just gonna have to. You're just gonna have to be upset. Like I, I don't, I'm sorry. You're you're just gonna have to be upset with me. But if their characters, yes, I believe that the character world exists. But in our world, like unless there are people that have connection to that, which there is a thing with me about that too. But you know, let's just that's a whole other conversation. That's a whole other video. But anyways, just for now, they don't exist in our world. You know as far they they can't exist in our world there is no way we can ever hurt a character there's no way the character can hurt us physically you know so if someone ships characters if it's a quote unquote taboo ship or something like that if they're characters then i don't uh, see a problem so the ship itself the lord to show and ren ship itself i didn't personally like it because yeah i have ships that i don't like i don't like it at all I don't but I don't sit there and um, go attacking them over it like that's mean I, I don't know what those people have been through number one and some of them are nice yeah so I'm not going to I'm not gonna sit there and attack people because they like a couple like there is way worse things in the world like and people really do attack they get in full-blown arguments over this stuff like it's, it's not it's not that serious and sometimes I don't like to argue online, but I can feel myself getting caught when I see a messed up comment. I'll have to reply, but that's it. I don't. But anyways, I went on a tangent. Um, that wasn't a tangent. That was me explaining. So anyways, that ship. Uh, if I don't like a ship, I just scroll. I just scroll away. There, there are a few ships that I really don't like, and I don't hate them. I don't have like. I don't have that. It's not that it's not that serious, honestly. Sometimes it is, but it's not. And so I scroll. And then like I have to scroll, but I have to see the same people, the people from the same ship that I scroll so that I can leave them in peace. I can spare them because that's not right. Having them attack, you know, our ships, it's weird. Like, like, leave us, like, come on now, you know? But anyways, that's, that's all different. It's, and again, I'm not upset. That's just me talking. But anyways, so I would, um, if people were going to attack, I would be like, you know, leave them alone. They, they can like what they like. It's not that big a deal. But some of the session shippers were really like bully, big, just, torment torment and torment and torment so early this year 
I was already beat down by other things. I, I always am, to be completely honest. But um, so I don't want to say I don't want to say I always am, but because the but means that this time's different. That's not what I mean. It was the same, but I just it, I don't know how to I don't know how to say it better. But um, they this year, you know, seeing them get what they want, they were the last people left on my list of people that I could at least. That I could at least, you know, it was it was the last it was the last um people that I could just uh, I'm trying to say it without crying. Um, I just wanted something. I just wanted to win one time. I just wanted one time, and I lost again. And for me, I, at that moment, I just I, I had nothing else. I know that. I know that, um, I know that, you know, this anime and stuff, I, I'm aware of that, but it was just so much deeper than that, and it was, it was just the bullies just, you know, always getting what they want, just treating people how they want, and then just getting their way, and then them getting their way again, for me, it wasn't about, it wasn't about Inuyasha, it was, because Inuyasha is one of the dearest things to me, but it, it was, it was that, it was okay. Everything that I like, there always has to have some kind of stain on it. I'll get to that in a minute because I'll go off on a tangent. And so I just felt like I had nothing left. So that day when I found out, I never saw the episode. I haven't watched it like since past like episode four. Um, I need to. I'm gonna, I wanna get, I want to be able to accept it, you know? Because if not, it's just gonna hurt every time I see it. Because I can just think of them, like, you know? But like, um, but anyways, um, I just felt like I had nothing left. And then I went there and I met awesome friends. I don't want to say their names because, um, I didn't, you know, I don't have permission. Maybe they don't want people to know they were, you know, in the mental hospital with me, you know, but y'all, y'all know who you are. I still have my friendship ring on everything. Like. Yeah, it's, um, and I see my mom and the four kids, my nieces and nephews, and I see them and like, I just see these premonitions. I just see these premonitions of them at my funeral. My mom, seeing my mom at my funeral, my mom, when someone she loves passes away, she is an absolute wreck. So I, I I cannot I cannot let her bury me. My one of my biggest fears that I know is inevitable is her passing away. Everybody passes away. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I know that. I don't know what I'm gonna do. My original plan was to commit suicide the day she died. Like that day, I would. You know, just I would be watching Inuyasha and I would just take anything I could find and I would just lay down and watch Inuyasha until I pass away. You know, in my sleep or whatever. Um, um, it's hard to keep pills down without throwing them up, but sometimes they stay down. But um, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I wrote a song saying that I'll never commit suicide again. I'll never attempt suicide again. So I don't know. Intermission over. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm just, I don't really know what to do. I'm just, I've just been existing and just, you know, I'm just, I'm just existing. I don't really, I, I don't know. There's days where I feel ambitious, you know, but other than that, I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do from here. I decided, I was like, you know what? I want to play a game. So I've been trying. I've been making a lot of TikToks. I've been doing that. You know, some of them not happy, but that's fine. But, I don't know. Oh, yeah. What was I going to say? The thing that I said I was going to talk about. Um, it had something to do with Inuyasha. I don't remember. <laughs> but, yeah.
So yeah, that's kind of why I hadn't posted. I just, I, I have been recording. I played a zombie VR game with my dad because I got a, um, I got a quest too for my birthday. From my grand, from my parents, that was really awesome. So I was playing the zombie game, and we love that game. And we're waiting for Sector Five to come out. I, I think it's Death, uh, Death, Death Horizon, Death Rising, or some, I forgot what it's called. Uh, <laughs> I'll remember, but I have all of that recorded. I just have to watch it and edit it. And I don't know if I'm gonna like upload it cropped or if I'm gonna like un keep it uncropped and that way everybody can see everything. But I don't know. And some of them, some of them, because I had a deep, I had a nah, 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 nah moment. I um, I was trying to say like D, like Mar, D, 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 like Marcy, yeah. But anyways, um, anyways, yeah, I had a moment and I left the cursor like in the middle of the doggone thing. And then there was a few times where I recorded, but the video corrupted. So I'm looking for ways to uncorrupt it right now. I I know a few ways. I just haven't started it yet. <laughs> but yeah, there was things like that. There was one lady at Texana. I was, that's where I was. Um, there was one lady. Maybe I shouldn't put the name of where I was. I can't. I think I can. They they were helpful. They they had some things, but they were helpful. And right now, because they're helping me like with my medicine and stuff, which I ran out of. And I I I had been trying to call them. For, I had been trying to call the pharmacy for like uh, almost two weeks now because I was like I'm running out. But no one would answer the phone. But they told me it's only two people working there, and they have to take calls for all six clinics like in the area. So yes, but it has, there's nothing, there's nothing to leave a, there's nothing to leave a, um, a message and the, my, the nurse at Texana said to stay on the phone for, you know, just stay on the phone, let it ring. But we would let the phone ring for like three hours and sometimes it would disconnect and, or it would just be ring, it would just be like three hours and it's like, okay, like it's been three hours. The phones are dying. Like, you know, I mean, the phones don't die in three hours, but you know what I mean? But we would try, but we were able to get through. We were able to get through, and so we did. At first, the nurse was like, "Yeah, you have to call them," and I was like, "I've been, I have been trying it at the time, and it had been over a week." And I was like, "I have been trying over a week." And she was like, "You gotta keep trying." And I was like, "Okay." You know, my mom is way more assertive to me, so she was like, she was like, "Oh, okay," and she called them. She was on the phone one and a half minutes and then she was like okay see you later and she hung up and she was like hey your medicine will be here in a couple days i was like oh yeah <laughs> she she didn't cuss them out nothing she was just like she's she's she knows she just knows how to get stuff done i don't know how to do that i don't i can't if i had a job right now oh god i don't know how i'm gonna do that i don't know how i don't i can't i can't yeah i'm starting to go back into hikikomori mode not going outside hardly. I go like to the store, but that's usually it. I tried to go to the park the other day. It was hot. I passed out. Yep. <laughs> and I passed out well, about a month before that. Yeah, I pa I think this year total, I passed out, mm, I don't know, five times. But I did pass out in the mental hospital, but that was last year when I went to another one. I was at I was at a different hospital and um the it was um a whole like I came out of my room like from sleeping and the day room was packed with guys just packed like uh, muscles um white tank top you know or shirt things like that um just packed and they were having like arguments and stuff and it, I got so scared yes i know i know there is a select people that are like oh my god when it's scary but you it's a phobia okay i can't i can't help it hey okay? <laughs> like 
and um, they were trying to tell me the nurses were like you know come on come join us you like for a morning meeting we're not gonna let nothing happen to you and I was like I was just standing there and they're like we're not gonna have nothing happen to you and I was standing there and then all of a sudden I was hearing my name over and over again and I realized I was laid out on the f like someone had caught me or something and they were like you know they were like let's go back in your room go back in your room you're worse like you can go lay down so I laid down and most of those guys went home and so there was a couple guys they were pretty cool so we went with them there was one guy that was stealing I may have told this already on the I have a couple fan fiction I have some dating back from like 2017 that I wrote that I really need to get um, posted yeah I am rambling holy moly okay I'm supposed to play play plague because I, I want to kill something um yeah but yeah okay that was a very long very very long you know thing of why I'm not on here I feel like I'm just gonna upload this kind of unedit it well I will edit out there was a couple times where I had to tell the kids like they're being too loud or something and I don't like to chastise them on camera or on audio or anything like that I'm not gonna embarrass them like that like, I mean, if they're, honestly, if they're big enough to be bad while I'm recording or something, they're big enough to have it shown, but I'm not going to do that to them. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So, they're doing good. They have their math, everything. Yeah, oh, I had an aunt, too. What ha I had an aunt that passed away. My grandma's sister, her last living um, sister, passed away, and my mom and dad went to the funeral. I didn't go. Because I couldn't go. Because I'm not welcomed. Because of my foster uncle. He's the foster kid, by the way. Ah. Because of him. I'm, I couldn't even go to my own aunt's well, funeral. I couldn't even go. Because if I would have went, all I would have got was fussed at. Why do you always say this? And this and this and this and that. I got the same cousin that torment me about him. Because she was in love with him for years. On, um... Okay, this is getting severely edited. I no, but she yeah. I have they stalk my they stalk my social media. Like I had made a TikTok. I made TikTok. Of course, I post. I would post my TikToks on Facebook, so they would see. They met, found me like that. But my Instagram, I had barely made it. Less than forty five minutes later, she had did that, and she would always like. She just goes to my blogs and sees what I read, and she re she takes pictures of it and sends it to like everybody so that everybody has a nice neat list of what they can what they can criticize me on when I get there yeah about how bad I'm doing and like there's been things that have happening to them you know but it, it sounds messed up but it's it's my I don't like saying the word trauma actually but it's it's my trauma brain my trauma brain like every time something bad happens to them and I'm told about it and my mom's like you know I know you know she's she's just tries to do her best but um like they tell my mom like oh you know so and so is this and that and it's the same family um the same part of the family that just you know reprimanded me for so quote unquote telling on my uncle my foster uncle but um Whenever they get all this support from the stuff they're going through, all I see is all the support that I didn't ap I see all the support that I didn't get, that I didn't qualify for. All the support that I didn't qualify for. Yeah. It's uh, it's hurtful. It's so hurtful. I know I should care, but when when I find out these things about them, I don't hate at all either. I just don't. I don't feel anything. I'm like I, I, I maybe I should be feeling something, but I just don't feel anything. I'm just like oh, oh okay. What a shame. But like um, in my trauma brain, it's just like in the voices. You know, it's like you know oh. Yeah. No, all the stuff I didn't qualify for. <laughs> you know, I gotta stop. I gotta play my game before I go crazy.
I'm gonna I'm gonna just play my game now. I don't know what this audio was. I'm just gonna play my game. <laughs> 